Hi, and welcome to Blabbermouth TV, where we discuss all the hottest topics in celebrity gossip, music, and fashion. I'm Danny T. I'm Teresa. And I'm Sharia Moore. Today, we're going to discuss celebrity bad boys and the women who love them. Pick up lines. Do they work or are they totally cheesy? And we'll tell you our thoughts on younger marriages. How young is too young? From Tommy Lee to Colin Farrell, Hollywood loves a good bad boy. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think one of the newer bad boys that's moving on up is Jesse Metcalf. What kind of drama has he gotten into? Well, he's been in rehab for a really? while. He's hot, he's new, he's mm -hmm. young. I mean, he's he got has, drama. He has <laughs> got drama. He has all the potential in being a bad boy in Hollywood. See, I'm a classic girl. Like, I love the, the back in the day when Johnny Depp, you know, was getting in trouble at the Vipe Room and he had all the River Phoenix drama. And then Definitely. I love like Charlie Sheen and Scott Weiland. They're in court every week for <laughs> assault <laughs> charges. They have the drug possession. They have all, they're just <laughs> train wrecks. Some of them but so. they've all been replaced right now by the girls of Hollywood: Paris, yeah. Lindsay, exactly. Nicole, Brittany. There's no more bad boys right now. Well, I'm not willing to. I'm a, I'm a Tommy Lee fan. Tommy Lee. He's my favorite he is, bad boy. He's timeless. He so. He'll, He'll always be a bad right. boy. And right. Pam Anderson, love her, but she yeah. can't get enough of it. Like, That's the thing. I don't blame yeah. her. I don't. I, don't, I, don't. <laughs> I don't know what it is about him, but there's just something that's completely attractive. Right. And, and Travis Barker, too. I don't know if he's going uh, yeah. Bad boy, he just but he like has the look. Yeah, and he's got so the look. hot. He's not necessarily a bad boy, but if I brought him home, my dad would probably have a heart attack. Right, he <laughs> but he's look. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, to yeah. me, right. he's just oh, he's just so hot. Hollywood Too much. loves bad boys. What yes, can you say? Right. I do. <laughs> From do you have the time to what's your sign, pickup lines can be totally hit or miss. For me, always a miss. <laughs> it doesn't always. work, there's not a chance. If you come to me with a pickup line, I will immediately walk in the opposite direction. Right, what's one of the pickup lines you got? It just, just the simplest things like, hey baby. Like, I'm not your baby. <laughs> like, don't, you know, you don't right. even know my name. You don't know who I am. You, exactly. Like, that kind of thing. And that, and when guys come up to me and are like, come on, baby, smile. Like, it's my face. I'll do what I want to do with my own face. Exactly. Like, tell, yeah, tell me lot, how like, it's supposed to look. automatically like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a natural smile. smiler. Like, what if I have jacked up teeth? Do you really want to see me smile? Like, <laughs> That's the thing. Like, yeah, like, like, it doesn't open oh. up a conversation. It just opens up an awkward moment. And right. you're just staring right. at each other like, Really. Um, I would like, rather have him just like come up to me and say something like polite. Um, he shouldn't be too forward, right. but he should state something that's original, you know, custom okay, that, to you. Okay, that's a problem for me sometimes because like when a guy comes up to me and he's trying to come off friendly and just start random conversation, then it's like, oh, she's talking to me, she's being friendly back. That might mean she's interested. Right. But that doesn't well, work. Well, yeah, me. no. <laughs> Not interested, no. just talking. I love right. any conversation. Something well, like and I love like when you go out and you know that you've you know taken the time to get dressed up, and if a guy does compliment like your shoes are awesome or your bag is great, it's like, thanks for noticing. Like at least you're yeah, actually looking at you're not I'm looking at the body, you're looking at what I have and like the effort that you put into it. It's like, well, thanks. You know, exactly. it's not going it's, unnoticed. It's those small details. That's right. something that I like. If a guy actually notices small details and compliments that. That's actually something I would appreciate more rather than him just complimenting how I look, my appearance, because it comes to show that he's just not someone about substance, you know? Mm -hmm. He's actually someone who has a brain. Next up is our makeup tip of the week featuring CoverGirl makeup artist Molly Stern as she gives us advice on the best way to apply foundation. How you blend your foundation is just as important as finding your perfect shade. When you wear foundation on your entire face or need coverage at the jawline, you must make sure to blend it into the edges of your face and down onto your neck, otherwise you will appear to have a mask on. Using a sponge wedge will soften out those transitions and give you a smooth surface for an even application. For the most professional application, use a triangle sponge or your fingertips to apply foundation. Some women like to use natural sea sponges, but they don't cover evenly. Instead, try a triangle sponge to smooth surface strokes on for a balanced look. The tapered edge blends makeup into tough to reach spots and is perfect for the corners between the eye and nose. Remember, when applying makeup, 
take the time to learn how to use the proper tools for an even, natural look. For more great tips like this one, check out CoverGirl.com. From Reese and Ryan to Chad and Sophia, younger marriages and divorces seem to be taking over Hollywood. So a couple that's on my favorite list, they're not quite married yet, but they're engaged with a baby on the way. Oh. Nicole and Joel Madden. Oh, yeah, yeah, really. Do you guys think that's going to last? I, I think it seems genuine. It seems like, you know, he, like he said in the interview uh, on Diane Sawyer, he could have walked away when it was right. getting bad, but he stuck with her. And I feel like if they can get through as much drama as she has now, they could probably get through anything. Right. <laughs> a couple that I love is... Jordan Bratman and Christina Aguilera. Oh, I love them too. They I look mean, so happy together. Exactly. Like, they seem like they're really, truly in love. They both seem to have this kind of balance that they're very supportive. And especially in this industry, I think, for having a relationship, it must take yeah. a toll. I well, mean, that's like that's why I think Avril Lavigne and her husband, Derek Wimbley, will do really well because they're yeah. both musicians. They both go on tour. Mm -hmm. And they know what kind of schedule to expect for each other. Right. So there's at least that mutual understanding of what That's it's going to be like and what kind of lifestyle they Absolutely. lead. So that might make it more successful. But, I mean, most of them don't last that long. No, a lot of them are it's failing shame. right now. It's right. a shame. Like, Britney Spears, yeah. she got married for all the wrong reasons. Oh, right. And sometimes I realize, I think some people, they don't really know the hard work that goes right. into it. They, like the she just went off the physical effort. attraction. Like she right. was physically right. attracted and to girls, Kevin Fireline. Like, today are just like they want to get married just for the title. Right. They want the, the ring. ring around. They yeah. don't care they about. Like they want to have the wedding. They, they want to be the dress. A lifelong commitment yeah. <laughs> and all the stuff that comes with it. You know. Yeah. Forget about that. The so. value of marriage is like right. just being lost, and it's just like a fashion statement and having a, as big of a party as you can it's have. Like once you have marriage, you're not only living for your dreams, but you're living for that person's dreams. And people don't understand the compromise I mean not necessarily like a bad compromise it's just a compromise of helping that person go through life and helping mm -hmm. them find their way and helping them and if you you're know, a achieve selfish their goals. young person yeah marriage is not for really you. don't do it no. <laughs> it's time for our question of the week this one comes from Carrie in Austin Texas dear blabber girls my boyfriend got me a necklace for my birthday the problem is I totally hate it should I wear it even though I don't like it or should I just be honest what do you guys think I think honesty is the best policy, yeah. but then again, it does depend on the situation. I mean, if you guys have been together for a long time... If the honesty is open and you guys are comfortable being honest, right. say it. But if this is like the first gift he's ever yeah. given a girl, don't <laughs> like no, bring it no, up. I had a similar situation. Somebody bought me this hideous <laughs> t-shirt. So like, what do you think of it? And I was like... It's gross. Oh, oh God. God. Yes. <laughs> and they're like, I'm glad you're honest. Yeah, it's they true. Like that they liked that I was honest about it. Probably. You know, and like, I talked to my boyfriend about it. I said, well, you know, if, if I got something from you and I didn't like it, what's the best way for me to say it to you? without hurting your feelings. And he said, just say it. Right. He goes, you know, girls overthink the things. And when they give a gift, they're like, oh gosh, I, you know, I hope they like it. Guys give you a gift and they give you a gift and that's it. And right. if you don't like it, say it. If he's going to spend money on you, have him spend money on something you like that you're actually going to use. Don't have him waste yeah. his money on something And I was like, next time you try to buy me hide. something, like take a picture of it and send it to me right. first. <laughs> if you have a question you'd like us to discuss, send us an email at blabbermouthtv at podshow.com. And make sure you tune in each week online at blabbermouth.podshow.com. Show.com. That's it for today, but tune in next time when we talk about the must-have fashion trends for fall. Beauty do's and beauty don'ts. And we'll give you our picks for the hottest rising stars. Bye! Bye.